To create the waistband, simply measuring this waistline first. Click one right there and then I'm going to press on shift and then click one right here. So if I look into the property editor, I see 15.78. I'm going to come over here and click on the rectangle tool, click one on the page and then the width will be 15.78. Then I'm going to press on the tab key and the height, I want to type in six centimeter. After that, I will click on OK. Next, we want to create two internal lines, one from the top and one from the side seam, OK? To do that, switch the tool to Edit Pattern Tool, click one from the top, right click, and then select Offset as Internal Line. And this time, I will type in 1.25. And then I'm going to click on OK. I will do the same right here. Click on the side, right click, and then select Offset as Internal Line. Now I'm going to type in right here, 0.7. And next, I will click on OK. All right, next, we want to draw the line from here to here and then turn it to a curved line. To do that, simply using this internal polygon chart line tool, click one right here and then click twice right here to end the line. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And to create the curve, I will go to this Edit Curvature tool Click on that line and then simply drag it down. Next, we want to cut that line. I will use the Transform Pattern tool. Click on that line, right click, and I'm going to select Cut. Okay, and simply delete that piece. We don't need it anymore. Next, we want to create internal line from the top down here. To do that, I will switch the tool to Edit Pattern tool. Click on that and then click one on this top area. Then I'm going to right click and then select offset as internal line. Then I will come down here and type in three centimeter. After that, I will click on OK. All right, next we want to draw a line from here to here. To draw the line, I will switch the tool to internal polygon slash line tool and then click one right here and then click toy right here to end the line. Next, we want to cut the pattern to create the waistband. Simply using this Edit Pattern tool, click on it, and then by default, this line is selected. I will press on Shift and then click on this line, right click, and I want to select Cut. Okay. After that, I will remove these pattern pieces. Simply go to the Transform Pattern tool, click on that piece, and this piece, and then delete. I also want to delete this line as well. Simply click on the line, press on the Delete or Backspace on the keyboard. Okay, and now we're all finished with one fourth of the waistband as well as with the skirt block. Next, we want to make a copy. To make a copy, Mackie select both of these pattern pieces, right click, and I'm going to select the symmetric pattern with sewing. Then I'm going to press on shift, left click to place the pattern. Now I'm going to my key select both of the pattern pieces and bring them down here. Now I'm going to remove the link editing because we want to unfold this to a front skirt pattern and create another pattern for the back skirt. To do that, simply right click and then come over here to the remove link editing. All right, then I'm going to my key select the pattern pieces, right click and then I'm going to Come over here and then select symmetric pattern with sewing. And this time I'm going to zoom in a little here. And then I'm going to press on shift and then click one to place the pattern. Now I'm going to unfold this pattern. To unfold the pattern, simply select this edit pattern tool. Click on that center line, right click, and then select unfold. I will do the same here. Click one, right click, and then select unfold. Next, I want to convert all these points right here, the center point, to curve point. Simply zoom in. My key selects all the center points. Right click and then select convert to curve point. Now we are going to do a couple more things here before we continue to sew the garment. First, we want to extend this for the skirt hem. Two, we want to apply the zipper notch and three, we want to label the skirt. To do so, first, I'm going to simply 
Come over here, click on the edit pattern tool and click one on this line. Press on shift, click another one right here on this back skirt line. Then release the shift, right click, and I want to select offset pattern outline. Okay. And by default, I have direction to be extend, which is perfect. And I'm going to type in two centimeter. Then we want to check the create internal line box. After that, come down here. We want to change this to mirror and be sure this default corner box is checked. Okay. After that, I'm going to click on OK. Next, we want to create internal line up here so we can sew this skirt hem. Okay. Simply zoom in. Use the edit pattern tool once again. Click on that internal line. Press on shift and click on this internal line, right click, and then I'm going to select offset as internal line. Then by default, I have number of offset is one, distant individual, offset from selected line, then change this to two centimeter, and be sure the direction is correct. In this case, yeah, it went up, which is correct. Then I'm going to click on okay. Next, we want to apply the zipper knot. Simply zoom in to this back side of the skirt. So I have hip circumference line. This is the zipper notch line. I will zoom in a little bit closer. Then I will select this notch tool, click on it. Then I'm going to simply click right on top of that line. And while that notch tool is active, I will come to this property editor and change the type to this letter we looking thing right there because I like that type better. And now we are going to label the pattern. Okay. To label the pattern, we have this annotation tool. Simply click on it. Let me expand the 2D window a little bit. Simply click and drag to the left. And now I'm going to type in here, skirt dash F, which is front. And I'm going to type right here, skirt dash letter B and letter L. So skirt back less, and I'm going to click one right here and type in skirt. Next, I will move the text to a little bit more prettier. Simply use this edit annotation tool, and then I'm going to just click and then drag to the center a little bit and right here, click and drag to simply a little bit center and the same here. So if you somehow don't like this label, you can simply right click and then select the lead or you can simply press on the backspace or the lead on the keyboard to delete those text that you don't like. However, you have to be on this edit annotation tool. Okay?